So you can either look into the camera or at Mason or at Dalton or at me, it doesn't matter, wherever you prefer. Um, the first question, and if you'd like to skip a question, come back to it, whatever, you can just say skip. Every 40 seconds, someone, somewhere in the world, attempts to take their life. Every 40 seconds, that person is successful. What are we supposed to do with information like that? Well, there's actually a lot, but no one ever knows where to start. I am a senior at Summersworth High School. I am a junior at Summersworth High School. I am in grade 12 for Summersworth High School. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. See where we're at with this. There we go. I feel that in our media and in our schools and our in our communities, mental illness is portrayed fairly negatively. Uh, you know, you always have, you know, thinking in like cartoons or TV series, you always have that crazy guy um, who, in reality he might just be incredibly anxious and that might just be some of the symptoms that he's experiencing. In seventh grade, I noticed that I stopped really doing my homework and I struggled to get out of bed in the morning. About like three years ago, end of eighth grade, I realized that I wasn't happy. I was failing in some of my classes my mom started noticing it. She noticed my mood had gone down. I have had a few teachers and past experiences who never really understood mental illness and thought more of depression as, oh, you're being lazy, you're procrastinating, um, you're just not getting your work done. This isn't something serious, this is you. You're the problem, you need to start working on it. I would define mental illness as something that causes a roadblock in your daily life. It's something that, you know, you deal with on a constant basis. Um, but it's different for everyone. Um, you know, for some people it can be something that comes and goes, and for others it can be near constant. Um, it all depends on the person and what they're going through. The advice that I'd want to hear when I'm struggling is that it's okay to feel the way I do. It's okay to feel unhappy. I'm currently in the stages of getting better, but it's taken medication swaps, different therapists, um, time where I had good days, decent days, and then bad days. I feel that for the mission of Youth to Youth, discussing mental health and mental illness is most certainly just as important as discussing um, drugs and alcohol and awareness um, of drug and alcohol misuse. Um, a huge factor leading into drug and alcohol misuse is individuals struggling with mental illness. You have to really think about what you're going to say to someone who is dealing with a mental illness because they can take things really sensitively. The one and most important thing I think people shouldn't say to someone struggling with um, mental illness is that it's not an illness and that you're overreacting. To someone who just learned that they have a mental illness, I would tell them that this isn't the end of the world. I would remind them that they are still who they are. They are still their individual. They are still their own person. That their mental illness does not define them and that over time you will learn different coping mechanisms, You'll, you will learn how to live with your mental illness, and you'll learn how to manage it. And you will learn over time that your mental illness is not something that can control you. You as a person are in control. Your mental illness is not you.